Welcome everyone, and today we're going to learn how to set up a WordPress blog empire on your current hosting plan. In other words, how to set up multiple WordPress blogs, like a blog for your friends and family, or a blog to go along with your website, or just another WordPress install to test out designs or something. How to set all those up on one hosting plan. So let's check it out, it should be a lot of fun. The first thing we want to do is, if you have a hatchling plan like I did at first, a basic hatchling shared hosting plan we need to upgrade it to a baby plan so we can host unlimited domains and to do that it's easy just click support click start a live chat enter in your name yes domain name package type continue and then in this window select sales so you'll get a sales representative and say you need assistance with new accounts and that means that they'll help you set up a new baby account which will cost you a little bit more but not too much more given that you can manage unlimited WordPress blogs monetize them network with them sell them and do whatever you want with them um, when you realize the power you'll have it starts to make a little bit more sense what you're paying for once you're done with the HostGator chat and they've confirmed that you've been updated to a baby plan, then you're going to want to go back to your email, to your original HostGator Your Account Info email, and open up your control panel link. And you could even bookmark it in your toolbar, like me right here if you like. Simply log in. Now just scroll down to the section called Domains. And in this section, we could buy a domain name from HostGator. If you click that, you'll see that you can buy a new domain name and search availability for a price of $12.95 a year, which is a great price. However, for the sake of speed and a potentially lower price, I recommend going with GoDaddy for a new domain name. That's just what I usually do. So we're not going to use this domain purchasing center. We're going to go to the home icon and come down to domains again and we're going to click on add-on domains. HostGator calls any additional WordPress blog install an add-on domain and we're not going to touch your initial WordPress site we're just going to add another domain name and another WordPress site next to it that will be unrelated to it. But before we click add-on domains you need to make sure that your new domain name for your new WordPress blog is registered. So go to GoDaddy you can do this at any point in the process, ideally early on, and search for your new domain name, register it, and take it off the market. Once you register that new .com, .nyc, .net, .online, or whatever, it's important to sign in right away and manage that domain name. And then click Manage on Domains. There should be a Manage button like that. Then just find that new domain name. I'm going to open up any random domain. And in name servers, enter in the name servers of your HostGator hosting plan from that original your account info email. Make sure those name servers are entered right away to connect your domain name to your HostGator plan. And then everything is done on the domain side. When people visit it, they'll start to see whatever it is you've created at HostGator on your HostGator hosting plan, which is now a baby plan. It's important though that you do that part right away. With your domain name registered and your name servers entered, now we can come back to the HostGator control panel and click add on domains. And what we're going to do now is create a little record or a bucket or a cubby or a parking space, whatever you want to call it, maybe a plot of land is a good uh, metaphor I like, where your WordPress blog will live. Okay, so in this new domain name bar right here, enter in whatever your new domain name was. All right, like my new domain name dot com or whatever the extension is you can leave out the HTTP part and then once that's entered you'll get the green check mark and you can just click away and it'll enter in your records don't change subdomain name or document root but just enter in the password you use for something like WordPress and in almost all cases you'll never have to know this password again just for HostGator's purposes and then click add domain and what will happen is you'll get a confirmation message in a second saying that this new plot of land, this new domain name record was created successfully. You get the green bars and now we can click go back. 
And what you also might notice in your list of domain names is that a subdomain was created. So if your first domain name was honestcollege.com, you'll get a new record created like my new domain name .honestcollege.com. You can't delete that, you don't need to worry about it, it's just something that HostGator does for its own records and pretty much we can just ignore that. Alright, so with that add-on domain created, click back to home. And now you can go to software and services quick install where you were before. Click install WordPress. Click install WordPress for free. And now find that new domain name that you made in the add-on domain names from the list. And we can see below there's that subdomain name I mentioned and the more add-on domain names you make the more subdomain names you get. Again, don't worry about them. If you want a full explanation of why they're there, HostGator Chat will be happy to explain it. Click on the right domain name, leave this part blank, and go ahead and install WordPress as you normally would. And when you click Install WordPress, you'll have a second WordPress blog live and you'll be on your way to creating your own WordPress blog empire. You can use the different WordPress blogs to network each other, you can link them back and forth, or you can just mention that you have multiple websites to people and gain more credibility by that means. If the WordPress doesn't show up right away, again remember it's because your domain name is still taking time to point over at that WordPress install. So give that about 12 to 24 hours and then you should be fine to get going. In most cases when I do this, that actually works right away because I'm in an area where the servers are updating frequently in a busy city. And I hope that's the case for you. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know any questions on how to add multiple WordPress blogs to your HostGator hosting plan or any questions at all about HostGator and WordPress. Please make sure to check out the description below and join Unity. You don't have to, but I want you to know it's there for you as you start out with WordPress and build an amazing blog or website because I truly want you to have an amazing, unforgettable WordPress experience. Alright, thanks again everyone. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.